What's going on, Max T Venture? What's going on, Max T Venture, guys? Today I am out here in my backyard, a bit late at night today, tonight, because we just got back from Yosemite. Sorry about my messy hair. I have to go take a shower because we've been in the car all freaking day. I need to take a shower for the past three days. And yes, yeah, so I don't know if you guys remember me saying this. Okay, because we are now moving to Boston, so it's going to be quite an adventure. And if you guys want to stick along to see it, st stay, stay tuned. And we are also going to be going to Southampton this summer, around August, I believe. And the coolest thing on during that is that we're going to be using good old bamboo poles and just like catching baby bluefish. I think you guys seen people catching bluefish on YouTube before, but we're going to be catching the, the offsprings of that. Uh, they're called snapper. They might be adults, I don't know, but we're going to try to catch them and maybe do a catch and cook. And during that time, we're gonna go on a fishing charter. I'm gonna ask the catch catcher, uh, Captain, if he would like to be interviewed. And um, we're gonna go out catching black sea bass, maybe some porgies. And then, um, yeah, and we're gonna do some body surfing and hopefully, and I'm just praying, hopefully, we're not going to the floor, we're not going to the floor keys anymore. Too much going on that, around that time. Uh, we, we might be going to Australia during Christmas, you know, it's going, you know, and during Christmas time, it's summertime, so I'm going to stop talking, I'm sorry for boring you guys, but I'm super excited to introduce this sucker, it is a headlamp with, uh, two, with, like, five, six settings, I think, I'm going to count, so we've got the red setting, we've got the blinking red settings, that's two settings already, and we've got the off settings, that's three. We got the bright UV. We got the uh, prior UV, so that's five, and yeah, we got six. So yeah. Okay, so we got these ones. Okay, so I'm gonna go get off camera, hopefully put that light back on, and we're gonna get this adventure started. Also, by the way, the first to comment down, uh, first to comment down, uh, the, the the three fish that we might catch, I'm gonna be saying them with, throughout the video. First one to comment down below will win, okay? I'll be saying that out in the next video. Let's worry about the flip over rock. Moving, so I'm not gonna be able to like do all the flipping over, but I cannot flip over this rock no more. It's now dug into the ground. See, so yeah, sadly, I cannot flip over that rock anymore, but I can flip over this rock. There's a pinch rock right there. Okay. So they have a UV light. Keep the... Oh, there's a spider right there. Look at that, guys. Danville comes into life at nighttime. Any of you guys who can identify that species of spider, I'll really appreciate that. Okay, that was interesting. I, I don't see spiders every day just basking on my fence. Oh, yes! Monster pincher bug, first of all. You got a worm right there as well. So I'm gonna shine my UV on it. There's a monster pincher bug. There's that thing right there. The worm right here. These are okay. So many people mistake this and start killing these suckers, but these are actually living organisms. They actually help the soil. They dig air pockets in the soil so the plants can actually breathe. Breathe. My mispronunciation. These roses right here would not be alive if it weren't for these suckers. So right now we're gonna put this back before we harm this little guy. Put him back. Put the rock back over where he was living. Don't put it down too fast so you don't crush him. That's the most important thing. First, okay. Ah, just my wrist. Okay. We're done with that area. I'm gonna move on to this area now. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling because 
tons of creatures are probably going to be attracted to my UVs. To the UV. Big creature bug. Big creature bug. On the rock, we've got a little pinch bug. Uh, another big pinch bug. End of the rock. So you a little pinch bug family, if you ask me. Got a little pinch bug right there. Um. If you ask me, this is not a bad find. It's not a great find either. It's not bad. Okay, so I thought that we just put it, it back the way I found it, just with some soil covering that part. Just like that. Put leave, leave the place, leave the place where you found it, guys. That's probably the most important rule that the Yosemite taught me. We saw so many birds there. I wish I brought my. I wish I brought. I wish you started recording, but most of the time my phone was actually dead. A little bug. Okay. So just make sure to put everything back where you find it. Okay. Oh, a little pinch of bug. Right in that soil right there. That's pretty cool. Put the rock back. Where you find it? That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna just flip over that rock. First one. This one. No way! Finally found something underneath one of these rocks. It's a pitcher bug. Finally, two pitcher bugs. We have finally found something underneath one of these rocks. I am so happy. I think I was actually happier when I when I first showed our first uh, lizard on camera. I think it was, that was the happier. I was actually happier. Anything under uh, oh. oh guys that could be a new PB pinch bug okay guys we have found the largest pinch bug I've found in 2022 so far that is gonna be a pretty tough size to beat and yeah but their scientific name is actually called earwig they don't call people ear I don't know why they're called and there is a giant wolf spider right there a usual size is a size of like okay hang on please don't fall please don't fall please do not fall perfect okay so the usual size is the size of that cut on my pinky right there focus but that spider is the size of my pinky nail so it's a bigger spider let me zoom in a little bit it's not a bad find, actually, guys. So, yeah. And the pincher bug. Zoom in on those pinchers. So they've got those little razor blades inside. The, sorry, I'm super shaky. They've got those razor blades inside the pincher before they hurt so much. So these guys really don't want to be bothered. They've been really good on camera so far. I don't want to put them out any more than they want to be put out. There's an Easter egg. So I'm going to check in here, obviously. Um, that's really it. I don't really find that much in here. Dude, I'm still shocked at the size of that pinch bug. Dude, that's a big pinch bug. That is definitely a new PB in the here, guys. That's what I'm actually going to do, guys. So I got to be really careful. I do not harm any of these animals all of these animals both of those animals were actually really beautiful that was amazing guys you know that's why i make these videos so i get that close to nature guys I, oh ah, ah, ooh, i just got stabbed by a tree that's the one thing i don't like being stabbed by trees guys okay now you big pinch rock boom Right there, very quick one as well. I don't know if I got that on camera or not. Oh, there's a little sp sp smushed spider. Hit some dead animals. Little pinch bug. This one I think I'm getting on camera. Oh, I know I'm getting on camera actually. 
Oh, that's really it. Okay, guys. Okay, just hopefully putting it back where it was so those pincher bugs go back to living where the, their life was. Okay. Did outro.